Hello, my name is David John Roach. I'm a composer from Wales and I'm going to tell you three things about a piece of music I've written for Britain's Symphonia. My composition is called Sentimental Espionage Music. It's a wind quintet and it's being performed in Milton Court, London on April the 14th, 2023. Those weren't the three things that I'm going to tell you. Don't worry. The following information is. Thing one. There are lots of long, sentimental, melodic lines. These are decorated and altered in different ways. I often do this in my music. I love big melodies, and I love the left speaker, right speaker layout of rhythm and lead guitar in rock music. So that's where the desire for a split between melody and accompaniment comes from for me. There's a particular bluntness to this type of texture in rock music. It's a bit more direct than the typical melody and accompaniment gestures we often expect or learn to expect from classical era music. And this happens a few times in sentimental espionage music. At bar 75, each note of the melodic line is sustained in an instrument that isn't playing the melody. This creates a gorgeous, easily controllable harmony that traces and supports the contour of the melody. Each note is plucked out and then immediately dips down, because each instrument is waiting for its turn to perform a new note, and because entrances are based on the shape of the melody, the rate of harmonic change feels unpredictable, natural and exciting. In tandem with this kind of blurring, I often double melodic lines at the unison in octaves or in pairs. This can be a good way of controlling the intensity of the sound, with the unisons sounding especially intense. In bar 92, I start off by having the melodic line split into two groupings an octave apart. This stays quite similar throughout the whole section, but the instrumental lines gradually deviate from each other. When this happens, the lines are still harmonically close. You really feel this shift from a unison to something that isn't a unison, a very strong tension that retains its focus and intensity. Thing two, there are lots of canons and rotations, depending on how you look at it. I do this all over the shop, in lots of my pieces. Sometimes I just separate ideas by a crotchet, repeating them canonically until a cadence or point of arrest pops up. In sentimental espionage music, this happens in bar five, the clarinet being one crotchet in front of the flute. And it then happens in bar 147, with the oboe being one crotchet in front of the flute. At bar 177, each line feels like a canon, but you're actually hearing rotations of a melodic block. An eight bar unit is displaced by one crotchet between each part, with the material at the back of each repetition being moved to the front of its relevant phrase. So you're not left with a gap at the start of each entry. It's a really impactful way to make a piece of music, but I find it often works best when the music is harmonically static. If you display something with clear harmonic function, then it can skew the harmony that is meant to be present. I'm sure there are context where this works. I, I bet people have done it already. Try it for yourself. Thing number three. There's some sneaky music, including a section that reminds me of Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget was a decent cartoon and later on a terrible film about an inspector who has lots of gadgets. I've actually written that down on the piece of paper to read out. Brilliant work from me there. It's probably more famous for his theme tune, which actually inspired me. Anyway... In sentimental espionage music, I drew on a lot of tropes relating to spy films, especially older ones that we might now regard as comedically derivative, including stuff like Inspector Gadget. I drew on these not necessarily to crack a joke, but to play around with this idea of lightness. Is it actually sneaky? Is it serious? Is it sinister? As material is recontextualized, it can take on different meanings. Something funny can become something sinister. You get where I'm going. You can hear one such idea in bar 161, with a sneaky but developmentally different idea having happened in bar 119. After an emotional, expressive segment of music, this feels like a narratively provocative gear change. When we hear these ideas grouped together later on, they lose some of their initial secretive feel and become part of a cumulative force. The context changes their roles. That's your three facts. Sentimental espionage music is dedicated to my friend and mentor, Ian Williams. Britain's Symphonia are incredible, and it's happening, or it has happened, depending on when you watch this, at Milton Court, London, on Friday the 14th of April 2023. Thank you for listening.